What's going on everyone? It's me, Chris Hernandez of Level Up Time Studios, and welcome back to another episode of Should Your Kids Play? And today, we're getting into it with Europa. So, what is it? Europa is a 3D platform puzzle adventure game that revolves around paint. The game itself is based within a giant labyrinth that has been formed during an odd event that has caused pieces of the city of Paris to float into the sky. Your character is, in a sense, a blank palette who's brought to life with the use of paint. So, how kid appropriate is the content? What should we know? Europa is a unique platformer puzzle game in that the player navigates a fragmented floating city through the use of wall climbing techniques. As the player progresses through the first portion of the game, you pick up abilities such as picking up items, interacting with objects, as well as the ability to kick objects. The game's puzzles are advanced in that as the player explores and completes puzzles, you must always remember whether you are standing right side up, or upside down, or even sideways. This brings us back to what I said earlier, the game is essentially a giant 3D labyrinth. As the game progresses, the obstacles get more advanced and even dangerous. For example, the player has to solve puzzles all while avoiding water slash rain. Why avoid water? Well, your paint on your body is your health bar. The more you lose, the closer you are to dying. So, is there a social component to this game? Europa is a single player game, so no there is no social component involved in this game. Now, what's the cost? How much are we gonna spend? So, Europa is currently only available on PC and it's coming soon to Nintendo Switch. You can catch the game on PC via the Steam Store for $19.99. Last thing, what's my rating? What's the final approval? I'm gonna say this game is 12 and up. This one was an easy one for me. The game is great for helping gray area think and grow, but the puzzles may be too advanced for younger audiences. So, for tw 12 and up seems like the perfect rating. The game also involves using a lot of working memory, so younger audiences may struggle with this type of game. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Should Your Kids Play? Again, this is Chris Hernandez with Level Up Time Studio. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. That way you can get updated on all my new content that comes out weekly. If you're watching this on Instagram, double tap the screen, leave a like, a heart, whatever you want to call it. And on both platforms, be sure to dive into the comments and let me know what game you want to see next. And I'll see you all next time.